Hey guys, it's Cassie and today I'm going to be telling you the best designer bags of 2020, in my opinion. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie, I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably going to love it here, so head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so I do have some of these, so I might be a little bit biased, but that also means I have experience with them to tell you that actually, yes, they are worth it. All of these will be linked below, and I'm going to start off with a little bit of a cheat, but I will explain why. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chanel 19 bag. This was released in 2019 towards the end, but this really saw a rise this year, which is why I wanted to include it. This bag quickly has become one of my favorite bags in my collection. The versatility, the style, the everything about this bag ticks all of the boxes for me. As soon as I saw this strap design, that was me like 100% like, yeah, I want it, she, I have to have this bag. I like where the top handle is placed on the bag because it doesn't look awkward, you know? It's not like the bag is folding in because of the placement of the handle. Now I will say, and I am biased because this is the size I have, I have the small size. I do think it looks the best in the small, but that's just me. I think that the proportions are great. She is still so roomy. I have a lot, I have like, why do I just have like a load of crap in all of my bags? My gosh. It's edgy, it's interesting, it's young. She goes with everything. I have used this bag so much since I got it and she looks exactly the same. She looks exactly the same. There is not a wear and tear anywhere on this bag she is just an absolute ride or die. She also does day to night like so well. That bag is just perfect for everything. You can get her in so many different variations and fabrics and all of that these days. Also, I've seen a lot of converts for this bag, thankfully, because she really deserved all of your attention. Okay, the next bag I wanna talk about is an old classic, um, remade for 2020, and that is the Gucci Jackie 1961 bag. Now, I've put this in best because although it's not necessarily my style of bag, though to be honest, if I was like given it, I would rock the out of it. Now, what I really, really like about this bag, aside from the fact that you can get it in the classic like Gigi Supreme print and the shape in itself is very, it's a very like timeless shape. And it also comes in three sizes. You've got the mini, you've got the small, you've got the large. Aside from the Gigi Supreme, you can get it in all leather and in some like glorious candy colors, depending on whatever your vibe is but I love the fact that you can swap out the strap. The strap in itself is a little bit adjustable, so you can do like, you know, for like a shoulder bag moment, but then there is a longer strap so that you can cross body. The versatility is there. If this kind of vintagey, cute vibe is your vibe, then the Jackie 1961 is a really, really great option. Bag number three is a bag that I had on my wish list, and then I decided not to get, but I still, absolutely love and this is the Louis Vuitton Petit Sac Plat. I don't know if I should be pronouncing that too. I'm sorry. I love everything about this bag. Okay, TBE tiny bag energy, we're here for it. But the thing about this bag, even though it is a TBE, it is still functional. Okay, you can get your phone, your wallet, a couple of masks, you can get a decent amount of items in that bag. It comes in the monogram with the little Vachetta handles and the Vachetta crossbody, but you can also get it in epi leather in two different colors and also in the monogram vernis now in like that champagne-y gloriousness. The top handles absolutely kill me. You know they do. You know I'm a sucker for a tiny top handle TBE. Mm, I love it. Yeah, I think it's also a really great sling on and go piece. When you're going on like quick errands and you really don't need very much, this is a really, really great piece. She still looks cute and stylish and interesting, but does the job. The next one, it got zero shout. I spoke about this bag when it first came out and um, I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing enough about this colorway. You know I love the Fendi baguette and I'ma let you finish but Fendi had one of the best colorways of 2020. There was this sunset ombre, blue, lilac, white situation that is just truly delicious. It was on their all leather baguette. It was part of their Joshua Vides collaboration, Vides, whatever, I'm sorry. And it was just stunning. The colors, oh my gosh. And I heard nothing. I heard nothing. So I'm here to do my little Kanye West bit to let everyone know that that deserved a bit of attention, thank you very much. Bag number five. 
truly one of, if not the, best bag of 2020. The Bottega Veneta chain cassette. F me up. You know the mental turmoil I went through going back and forth on this bag, okay? And I'm sorry that I fought against it for so long. Or maybe I did fight against it for just long enough such that they released this colour and then it just like spoke to me on a completely different le level. The colour, aside from the colour, let's take the colour out of it, okay? This bag is not going to be for everyone because this is a statement. She is here to be talked about. She is not here to be a wallflower, okay? She is not here to melt into the background. No, 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 no. She wants you to know that she exists, right? So first of all, it's a statement bag. Number two, the bitch is heavy. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is heavy. If you were to hold this by its top handle the whole day, your arm is gonna be hurting. I'm not gonna lie to you. But when you cross body, it's not that bad. Truly, this is just my experience though. But the chain is truly what makes this piece. Like, what is this? It's crazy and outrageous in the best way. The vibes, are immaculate. Okay, I'm so glad I got this bag. Also, the amount of compliments I've gotten when I've worn this bag, disgusting, in the best way. When I went shopping with my dad, four people stopped me. Four people stopped me and was like, that bag? Is that when I was like, I know. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you very much. But isn't she a stunner? She is a stunner. Okay. Bag number six, Prada re-edition 2005, Safiano leather. Now, the nylon version came out towards the back end of last year, I believe. And great, what a great bag, so many people love it. You can see why. Functional, it's got the MPA vibe, you know, we know these bags. The main problem that people had with that bag was that it was nylon. And I don't know why, people either seem to like, really like or really hate the nylon. The Safiano leather is obviously very hard wearing, but the way that the gold hard wearing, like the little chain pops against that Safiano texture just looks really great. It works so well together. They also do this bag in a great range of colours. They have that astral blue, you know, the sodding blue that I absolutely love. They have that really great forest green. And again, the gold just, oh, it just pops. It just pops off it. This is just such a really great bag. Bag number seven, the Saint Laurent Jamie bag in Jersey. She's beautiful. What is it about Jersey and bags that just takes them to just like a completely different level? Okay, this, the same on Jamie bag previously, I was like, oh yeah, it's, it's a nice bag. I wouldn't like get it though, but it's nice. I can see it on other people. And then you put it in Jersey and she's like, no, 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 this is a different woman. This woman is something else. This is another one where that Jersey texture just looks so good against the hardware. I love this bag. Little bit less Look, you're gonna have to like look after a little bit more, you know, a little bit less hard wearing than like an all leather bag or something like that. But she looks fabulous. Bag number eight, the Dior Romoa personal clutch. Obviously I have it in like this silver color. You've got the leather straps that have Christian Dior embossed in them and the strap here that's adjustable, but I like wearing it kind of like across the chest moment, you know, under the left titty where it belongs. Aside from the fact that this bag is just so different, the functionality of this bag is crazy. Three distinct compartments, but you've got like a space here, you've got card slots, you've got card slots on the back, you've got this section, then you've got a zip section for whatever that is, and then you've got another se There's just so much. I really, really love the vibes of this bag. Like I said, it's so unique and interesting. Bag number nine is basically a size difference. So Dior, book tote, everyone loves it. There's nothing bad to say about that, apart from the fact it gets heavy, whatever. 2020, they decided to bring it out in the small size, not the mini. We don't talk about the mini in good ways on this channel. The small size, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's such a great bag for travel, for work. You can fit a laptop in it, books, sodding, your planner. I'm a planner person, very passionate about my planner planner would go in there very nicely. The small size is just brilliant. It also means that you maybe not feel obliged to fill it as much as you do with the large one because let me tell you there's a lot of room in there and it gets filled especially when I'm traveling them like a little bit worried like mm, this is leather am I are the sodden handles gonna break? Oh my gosh the different variations and like patterns that you can get on that bag. My favorite personally is the Toile de Jouis. It's a beautiful scene that embroidery there's like a sodding tiger doing things in an enchanted forest. I love it. Also, I just found out about this absolutely minuscule version of the Balenciaga Hourglass bag. Oh my gosh. So the Hourglass actually came out last year around October time, but only recently have they, honey, I shrunk the kids did, 
and I am obsessed. And finally, the last bag that I've spoken about a little bit on this channel. That is the Celine Ava bag. I just love the vibes, okay? It's a little shoulder bag. It, they do it in the Triumph print, which I like. I love the shape. I think it looks really cute and it's giving me 90s vibes, but in a more grown up, sophisticated way. I just love it. I just think it looks great. I think that the proportions are fabulous. I think that it's timeless, but cute and interesting. I only have good things to say, truly. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you've already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.